a welcome back to Hilo Lux for luxury and style are attainable. We've got summer favorites today, summer beauty favorites. So I feel like this is just a good way to let you know if there's anything I've been using or what I've been using, kind of like Holy Grail products for the summer. Um, things that I get a lot of questions about, stuff like that. So that's the point of this video. We're gonna focus on beauty. I got like body care, skincare, makeup stuff. I think that's everything. A fragrance, stuff like that. My outfit will be linked below. This bodysuit is from Zara, I absolutely love it. I already bought two more as a backup, just in case. Um, and this necklace is Vivian Westwood, but I'll link everything that's still available below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into beauty favorites. Summer beauty favorite. Okay, so the first summer favorite, summer beauty favorite is gonna be from Necessaire. This portion of the video is in partnership with them, which I'm so excited about because I've been using their products for a while, probably since last year. Um, so when they reached out, I was very, very excited. If you've never heard of the brand, um, they do all types of body care. I have two favorites from them. The body wash and the exfoliator are my two favorites from Necessaire. Um, body exfoliation in the summertime is super important because you're shaving. If you shave your legs or anywhere on your body, you should always exfoliate before you shave and after you shave. Um, and then if you are like my shade, I mean, I think just like brown skin, anything in general, you probably get a lot of hyperpigmentation anytime you get like a scar or a bruise or a pimple or anything like that. And exfoliating helps with that as well. Um, you know, it just like kind of like gets all the dead skin off and then helps your body just like glow and shine when you put things on top of it. So I've really been into body exfoliators lately. lately. Um, and this one is the body exfoliator. This is what it looks like. I like this because it's not super abrasive, but you can feel that it's exfoliating. I've tried some that are kind of like, almost like hurt a little bit. <laughs> Or you're like, okay, that's just kind of a lot. Um, so I really like this one. Um, it smells like eucalyptus, so I love that in the shower with steam, you know, just good vibes. But this works really well. And, and again, it's super gentle. And then I'll put more details on the screen, you know, like the facts and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the next thing I like is the body wash. This is very um, luxurious and I love that. I love just like pimple routine type of vibes when I'm in the shower and I do my skincare and all that stuff. Um, and this body wash smells amazing. Oh, this is also eucalyptus. Okay, well it's very, it's, it's a lot stronger in here than in here. Um, and I love that, it lathers really well. It also doesn't dry my skin out and I would say with the necessary range in general. I have eczema and I have super dry skin um, and this is still like hydrating and moisturizing when I use it and I don't get out of the shower feeling like if you have dry skin, you know what I'm talking about. Like I don't get out of the shower like feeling bone dry, like I need to immediately put lotion on. So I really like this and it smells amazing. Um, also, I have a discount code. I will put it on the screen here, but they have an entire range where those two things are included. Let me get the name. The Body Ritual, where you get five full-size products and those two are included. You also get the, let's see, you get the Body Exfoliator, which is what I talked about. This also has H8, H A H A and B H A um, in it. You get the body wash, which was the other favorite that has niacinamide in it as well. So that's great for your skin. Um, you also get the body serum with hyaluronic acid, which is this and Josh really loves it. You can put this on before lotion or you can mix it with your lotion, but this is the body serum. You also get the body lotion. This is what I have on today. and This is what I typically use. Um, and this is just good for like moisturizing, nourishing, strengthening. And then you also get the deodorant gel, which I've also been wearing probably since like the start of summer, since like, you know, sleeveless things and stuff like that. I have it on today. Um, it works really well and it's clear. I really like that to roll on. I also like that too. Um, and it's a really cute small size, so it's easy to travel with. You can get the whole body ritual set for $100 and then with my code here, you can get 10% off. So. That's the start of the summer beauty favorites. Again, it's gonna be, my favorites out of this set are the exfoliator and the body wash. Absolutely love these. Um, and then I also use body lotion and the deodorant gel. And like I said, Josh uses the body serum. It's a little lighter. Um, again, you can combine it with the lotion, but he likes this because he also doesn't like super thick creams. Like he has oily skin and I have dry skin. So he really likes this one. All right, moving on. Next up, let's stick with body skin type of things um, and I have some skincare. So uh, first I'll start with the face wash I've been using and loving. It's from Clinique and I used this a lot last year and then I kind of like, you know, I try a lot of stuff. So I kind of forgot about it. But since I've been traveling and wearing a lot of makeup lately, I've gotten, I've gone back to this and I really, really like it. It's the All About Clean Liquid face, Facial Soap um, in Mild. And I like this because it also comes in with a lot of Clinique things. It comes with like, it's based on your skin. So I have dry combination, 
which I really like. Again, I hate when I'm washing my face or my body and it just feels like my skin is so dry. Like once the water dries off, you know, it just feels like, like super tight and extremely dry. My face doesn't do that with this. I really like it and I feel like it does a really good job of really getting like my face clean because I've been traveling and wearing a lot of makeup like a lot more than I would wear on a day to day so I, I really like this but I feel like it works really well it's fragrance free I'm pretty sure yeah fragrance free so I really like this highly recommend um if you have I just recommended this to somebody and that's what made me put it in the video um the use of sister she was uh to say hi she was going um she's on a trip now and she had a pimple and she was like do you know anything i can put on this to like make it go away and i was like as a matter of fact i do now i don't have acne prone skin so this is not to treat acne i deal with more like you know hormonal like if i you know might get a pimple if my period is coming or something like that um or if i sleep in my makeup or my pillowcase is dirty that kind of stuff my makeup brushes are dirty i'll get pimples that way and this is how i always treat them it's with the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. It has retinol in it and I cannot recommend it more. Even if I don't have a pimple, but like my face, sometimes I just get a lot of texture on it. That's typically when my, my pillowcase needs to be cleaned. <laughs> um, and my face just feels rough. I put this on at night. My skin is always better. Even if the pimple is not completely gone, it is always dramatically improved in the morning. This is a big bottle. It comes in a smaller bottle. This is pricey. I will not let this run out. I have one in my travel bag. I have a smaller one. Like, this is a holy grail. Also, if you're treating just the pimple specifically, I don't have it with me because Josh has it. Um, this is like in his little bathroom section. I forgot to grab it. But I also like, I'll pop up a picture, the Glam Glow Super Bud. I recommended that to her as well. Um, we usually just get like the travel size because I feel like it dries out quickly, but I would just spot treat with it. Like put it, like take a little Q-tip, put the Glam Glow Mud right on the pimple, let it sit till it dries, wipe it off, and then put that oil on it. And in the morning it's better, so you're welcome. Um, next skincare is SPF of course. Summertime, you should wear skin, you should wear SPF all the time. Um, but I love this Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery um, SPF 50. <sighs> this is pricey. So I'm sure there's other options. I'm just sharing what I use and what I continue to repurchase. Um, I like this for a few reasons. And Dermalogica in general, um, they do a lot with like anti-aging and I feel like you just get so much in the SPF, if that makes sense. Um, this one is the, a part of their dynamic skin recovery range, which is all about anti-aging. So I love this and it is super hydrating. So if you have oily skin, this might not be for you. But again, if you, like this can be like my moisturizer if I need it to be, instead of like layering this on top of a moisturizer, it's that hydrating to me. Um, and then the last skincare product is a holy grail. I don't need to use it as much anymore because it's already done its job, but I always keep it on hand just in case. And it's the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I think I've recommended this for probably since I started my YouTube channel, probably three years. Um, if you have dark circles, run, don't walk to get this. I used to have dark circles under my eyes. I don't anymore, but I still have this. And I use it every now and again just to make sure things are staying the way they need to stay. Um, but this works. I recommended it to my friend back home. He's a guy. And he was like, we're on FaceTime. And he was like, your skin looks amazing. Like, I always, I really want to get rid of these dark circles. I literally went on Sephora, bought this for him, and sent it to him. He was like, I've been using that and it really works. I'm telling you. If you have dark circles, this is for you. I think in skincare, I forgot to mention this. Uh, this is a cuticle oil, and this is the best cuticle oil I've ever tried. This is a part of beauty. I put this on my cuticles on my toes and on my hands. Again, most of these things I'm recommending are if you are kind of like dry combination, eczema prone, that kind of stuff. Um, this is called Mineral Fusion, and I'm pretty sure I got this at like Whole Foods. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. I keep it in my little travel bag so I can always have it with me. It doesn't spill, it has a little like twist top. If you have dry hands, dry cuticles, or you just want to nourish your cuticles, highly recommend this. I will link all this stuff below as well, if I can find it, um, if it's like available online. Okay, now moving on to makeup. I only have three makeup products. Okay, let's start with the new thing. <laughs> this is the Sephora Multitasking Baked Face Palette. I got this, I think in a gift bag. Yes, I went to an event in New York 
um, called The Sip and Slay with Every Stylish Girl. I was on their panel and they gifted this to us and it is just brown girl friendly. It is so good. It has replaced a few things that I used to travel with. It has a beautiful highlighter in it and I feel like I've never been able to find like a really nice gold, golden bronzy kind of highlight that just like looks beautiful in the sun. And this one is it. It also has, um, I think this is like a bronzer or a finishing powder. I haven't used this one that much, but these two are like um, blush. And I typically use the one that has a little glitter in it, a little sparkle, but I love this palette. I love this palette. So if I'm traveling, I don't need to take blush and highlight. I would just take this. And I, I feel like I need to figure out what this one does. It's just like a brown color. It doesn't say though. Hmm. I'll figure that out. Like the colors are beautiful. So, so pretty. Okay. Next is foundation because it's summertime and I got a lot of questions in the last vlog, the Essence Fest vlog. If you haven't watched it, make sure you do. Um, about my makeup lasting all day. Um, New Orleans was extremely hot. It also rained the entire time. It was extremely humid. It was a lot. <laughs> um, and honestly, I only did my makeup once a day, every day. I did it in the morning, it lasted all night. I would touch it up, maybe add a little more eyeshadow or change my eyeshadow, but in my mind, I was gonna redo my makeup for the evening, but we, I just never had time. But what I use in cases like that, when I need to be beat, I need to stay, is the Dior Face and Body. Oh no, the Dior, yeah, Face and Body. It's the Dior Backstage Face and Body. I cannot recommend this foundation enough. Again, this is not an everyday, foundation she is you don't need a lot but a little goes a long way it is full coverage but you will be beat you will be beat i'm in shade 6.5 in if i'm taking pictures if i'm on video um or if i need my makeup to last all day long and like stay flawless looking I have it on today love this and then of course can't talk about foundation and not mention the Bobbi Brown. This is my everyday foundation. Um, it is, it does say full coverage. I would say it's like medium to full. I feel like you can still see my skin through it. I also don't use a lot when I use it. Um, and it is the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation. It has SPF 15 in it. I am in shade Neutral Walnut is the shade I'm in. This is a great everyday foundation, especially if you want to look really pretty in person. Those are two different things, unfortunately. <laughs> when you wanna look beat in pictures and camera, you gotta go full coverage and be like beat down. If you wanna just look flawless and pretty in person, but still like have some skin shining through, this is a great one. Those are basically the only two I use. I also always love NARS um, Radiant. NARS, what is it? NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. This is a great one as well. This is like one of my top three I would say, and the Lancome Tint E Doll, which I feel like these are very similar. So just FYI, Th those are all of this. If you use those and you love them, I agree they're great as well. Okay, um, oh, this is under makeup as well. You know I cannot have a video and not talk about the Bobbi Brown face base and eye base. I'm not gonna ramble on too long because you know how I feel about this product. But specifically, if you have dry skin and you want your makeup to be flawless and you wanna be beat all summer and you're gonna be adding powders to make sure you, your makeup doesn't sweat off, please start with these so that your skin still looks like skin, your skin is still hydrated underneath. I love these. Okay, next up, I have one fragrance. It is the Christian Dior La Col Noir. Noir? We'll pop up a picture. Um, I love this one. This is fairly new, but it is kind of like what I've been loving this summer. It is very, I'll put the notes on the screen, but it's just a pretty, it's just pretty fragrance. And I like that. It's from Dior and I really like it. And I feel like Dior has so many options. Like literally every time I go in, I feel like I have to smell them all and I have Josh smell them all. And I'm just like, which one do I get? Um, but I really, really like this one. It's super pretty, but also they, they're, they're very fragrant and I like that. Next up, I have candles. I feel like this is a beauty thing. I don't know, maybe just a, maybe it's a lifestyle thing. I don't know, but I wanted to mention it because to me it's like it goes with fragrance. So I have two candles by Forever Mood, of course. We are for Forever Mood household. Um, these are the only candles. If you're like, you know, just on the fence still, not sure, you don't even have to light these candles. Like I just have them around my house and when people walk in, they can, they're like, oh my God, what's that smell? 
I'm like, oh, I don't know. And, and literally I'll walk up to the candle and be like, oh, that's the smell. You can just sit these in rooms and they smell. When you light them and blow them out, you, the room, you, like you can still smell it like it's lit. It is the most fragrant candle <laughs> I've ever had. Where it's like, as soon as you light it, if I light the ca a candle in my studio, you can smell it all upstairs. Like there's four rooms up here. You can smell it in every room. Okay, that's enough. But the two um, scents that I'm loving, Butterfly Effect looks like this. And again, I'll put the scent up, but these, I have these two up here because this is what's in my closet in my studio. And this one is Thirst Trapping. I believe this was from the spring and this is from the summer drop. <sighs> so good. And we have one in our bedroom. I should have brought that one too, because that one's, I put them where they give me the vibes. The one in the bedroom is a little sultry. Um, I'll put it, I'll put the name up on the screen though. Okay. And the next two beauty items are actually um, travel bags but I wanted to mention them because I absolutely love them I had one for a while and then I just got one when I went to New York and if you travel a lot you just want to make I don't know life a little easier you want to feel a little elevated a little bougie I love these I don't have a lot of monogram in my like handbag collection and I especially don't have any Louis Vuitton monogram but I love Louis Vuitton travel like bags cases luggage I love it and I have had this toiletry I don't even know what these are called um but this makeup case for a while I want to say like maybe a year and a half or two years maybe um and I got this on fashion file because literally they're always sold out and I could not get it in the store and mine is a mix like it, it keeps my makeup so I just keep all of my everyday makeup in here all the time and I have it sitting on my vanity so like it's kind of like decor as well and then when I'm ready to travel I'll just add anything I need and everything I need is right here everything can fit in here and then i'll typically put this in my carry-on because i just need to have my makeup with me just in case like i gotta get ready on the fly i don't know <laughs> and then recently i was just traveling with so many different little bags you know like i had a bag with like i don't know with like my toothbrush and my i, I carry a little water flosser with me and then like my skincare and I would have like a bag for day skincare and night skincare and then I had a bag for like fragrances and like body lotions and oil and I was just like but every time I would, like have to unpack like when I get to my location I felt like I had like five different bags so I wanted just something big enough to hold everything so I got this last time I was in New York and I love it I used it immediately I threw all the other five bags away because they were just like you know when you get free bags with stuff with purchases and stuff um, and I love this one. You can just carry it like this. It has a little magnetic closure right here on this flap. Um, and then you just unzip it. And I just keep, basically all of my travel stuff, I just keep in here. Um, so yeah, this is, but it fits so much. Um, it's wipeable on the inside, just like the other one is. So that's great. This one is darker, which I think is better. That one's kind of light. Um, but like I have full size things in here that fit. Like full size things that fit in like every everything that I need it's in here so I wanted to mention that because I really really love it um and it's summer I know people are traveling a lot um and I just saw I asked for that in the store and they had it so just FYI I think that's everything I think those are all of my beauty summer favorites I feel like as soon as I turn the camera off I'm gonna remember something but make sure you check out necessary products and the body ritual line again that's where you get all five of the products I showed for $100 and then you can save 10% off with my code here and I'll link that below in the description box along with everything else I showed I think that's everything thanks for stopping by see ya